Hello, I'm Edgar Miranda. There's only one way this ends, cow. Crack. What? I see things different now. But back then, I was pissed, to say the least. Good people of YouTube, welcome. If this is your first time here, please know I've been expecting you. Click subscribe, hit the bell, and take a seat. Let me entertain you. After the movie ended, I sat in disbelief in a crowded mall, but for all the noise, there was none in my head until I came to a sad realization. I hated the movie. I hated a movie about Superman. How? It had all the ingredients to be a masterpiece, but it wasn't. I had gone all the way to San Diego for this movie. I slept in line, screamed at the trailer, and a year later, there I sat, disappointed and angry. I was in my 20s. Now, older and hopefully wiser, I see that I hated it not for what it was or what it tried to do, but because it didn't immediately conform to my idea of who Superman was and how he was supposed to act. Did I like that he broke his neck? No, he is Superman. There is always another way. And when there is seemingly no other option, he is the one that's supposed to find it and show us the way. Yet this Superman didn't. For good or bad, the story they decided to tell is of an inexperienced Superman who doesn't know what he's doing. Not yet. That just started pushing his limits a few days earlier and that is now at the epicenter of a threat of world domination. But it's not like he became Steven Seagal. The movie tried its best to prepare me. There's only one way this ends, cow. Either you die or I do. Sot lost everything. He decided that he was gonna die at the hands of Kal-El and was prepared to kill all of humanity in order to achieve that. And he won. And Superman lost a part of his soul because of it. Not only did he take a life, but he took the life of the only other individual like him. He literally killed Krypton. He shows Earth. And if I could speak to the 20 year old me, I would say to him, that's how one swears to never kill again. Because now he knows the cost is unbearable. And he would probably say in return, why don't you go anyway? In hindsight, I'm just gonna say it. I think Man of Steel is the best movie in the DCU. What? Trust me, I don't believe it either. Now is the bar high? You be the judge. But I have a lot to say about this movie, good and bad. Just not today. And what I feel now is not what I felt then. Then I wanted the house to burn with everything in it. So much so that when I saw this the first time, well, what do you think my reaction was? Thank you for watching. If you like this video, maybe check another one. I shouldn't. Come on. Do it. See you next time.